Let's get started. What do we have here? We're reviewing, as we normally do, the LW500 latch bar exercise system. The LW500 latch bar exercise system is the attachment system for resistance bands and also straps. We do use chains and you could probably use a number of other different things. But what we have here is we have my studio, which is a basic room, just like in your own home. And I've converted it into a studio for exercise and also demonstrations so that you can see what can be done with the latch bar exercise system. Now, like I said, we use resistance bands and we use straps. The straps, what we've basically done is we've made it so that you have a base to, to connect your resistance bands and your straps in order to generate different type of exercise. So I just want you to take a look at our wall board over here. The wall board consists of three deluxe latch bars, top, middle, and bottom. It has an attachment for anything that you want to attach. What we have here is just a deluxe round bar on the sides. We have the hand grips. We also have the basic latch bar. So we're displaying four different components right here. There's only eight components to the entire system. The other portions of the system consist of a smaller single latch bar. That's our smaller single latch bar. And we also have a sit-on latch bar. We call it sit-on because you can use this for sitting on or you can use it to lean against where you won't have these other latches impacting your comfort. For example, you can even use this to put on your backside. Like I said, if you were leaning against the wall, you would have it just like this. All right. And you can see we will be able to do an exercise just like that. You want to keep it a little slow so that things don't slip and slide. So there you have it. Those are the flat pieces. And the round pieces, the only other round piece that you did not see, is the 44 inch. The 44 inch attached to a flat deluxe latch bar is set up for doing squats presses, or curls. So all you have to do is get in position. To do your squats, or to do your press, or to do your curl. So there you have it. When you utilize any of the equipment, you need to have something attached. Using to attach one piece to another, we would only use straps of any type, tubular or flat. In order to use straps, you must do the same. Attach them to the latch bar so that you can generate your exercise. As you will see us do with this basic latch bar, we have four straps attached to this latch bar. Two of them are adjusted to the same length on both sides so that you can use them as a pair. 
with this latch bar, we are going to conduct sit-ups and crunches in just a moment. As our workout begins, I've demonstrated the setup for using the wallboard. Now you have individual components which are all over the place, literally. They are portable, they can be taken anywhere. Take them on your vacation. Take them outdoors, in your yard, on your patio, work out. In fact, you'll probably see us do that one day. If we have a beautiful day, this week, we'll take it outdoors. We'll do a segment of portable equipment outside. How about that? Now we gotta get right down on the floor. And we're going to utilize the basic latch bar to help us do sit-ups. The basic latch bar and also the straps that I had spoken to you about. And of course, our latch bar system is available on our website. Our secured red lock, I'm sorry, our secured website, www.lw500products.net. Our products come in packages or components, single components. However you like to purchase them, that's how they come. And you do not have to break the bank to buy my product. That's right. You don't have to break the bank. You don't have to go through no savings. My product is inexpensive. However, very efficient. All you have to do is use them. This product will do for you practically anything that you see coming from all those expensive products that don't guarantee you any help. It's the same thing. You must do the work. If you don't do the work, you don't accomplish anything. And they cost a lot more to get the same thing done. Efficient 
of course. This is by the latch bar exercise system. <laughs> I was trying to let you fill in the blank. <laughs> That's it. Hold on to your money. Buy what's affordable. The latch bar system is just that. I'm going to just remove two of these belts. Only because They sometimes pose a safety issue while you're conducting this exercise we're about to do, only because the belts may be flopping around and you don't want the belt to hit you in the wrong place. You guys, you know what I mean. That hasn't happened to me, but I don't want you to have the wrong practice either. So, what we're going to do now is a sit-up with the use of our legs. Push out, and you sit up. Go back in, and you lay down. Out, in, out. In, out, in. Bloods are flowing. Oh, yes, it will. But you will love it. Because you're that type of person that enjoys doing the exercise. So I'll reconnect my band or my strap. I'm sorry. I'll reconnect my strap. So we'll be prepared for the next series. Now, we're going to push our mat forward just a bit, and then we'll grab another mat. Oh yes, you guessed it. Our lay down pull up crunch. We're in a lying down position with our feet up on the bench, resting on the deluxe latch bar mounted on the wall board. you like me now. That's right. 
like I can see my head probably. I can see sort of the end of the mat. So I don't want to touch the camera. I'll get in position and I'll keep my head as low as I can so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. pretty well. And now we're going to do we just did a press. Now we're going to do some pull down crunches. Yes. Forward crunch first. Make sure that your workout is consistent. You don't want to work out once or twice a week. You want to work out at least four to five times a week. In order for your workout to be effective, that's what you need to do. Now we're going to do a side crunch on our bench. Into your exercise so that you can get 
something out of it. Consistency is the name of the game. Maintain your consistency. We'll start to show after a while. Everyone will see that you look a little different and you will feel different. You will feel better. We all strive to feel better. Exercise will help get you there. you also have to do. You have to maintain a strict diet. When I say a strict diet, that means eating the right way, eating the right things. Now, I know you don't always have to do that, but you got to do it for the most part to maintain and to make sure you're taking advantage of all the work that you put in. You don't want it to be for nothing. So be careful with all the sweets, all the things that we enjoy eating, and all those carbs. Be careful. Always remember, beverages, beverages are just as bad. Whether it's alcoholic beverages or just a plain old soda, they are all very high in sugar and calories. to us gaining weight, sugar, and calories, and also contributes to our poor health, downright poor health. Sugar contributes to our diabetes problems as much as our high blood pressure problems. Don't think that one escapes. They're both impacted by that. So we need to be conscientious of things like that. When we eat, how much we eat of whatever it is we are eating, how often we eat it, and everything. No, you didn't have to do that when you were a kid. That was a long time ago. I hate to put it like that, but let's be honest. It was a long time ago. Some longer than others. So we want to make sure we've conscientious of that. When you were a kid, you burned all those calories off. Most of us did. If you were active, like most kids are, 
We burned it off and it was no problem. Well, hello. If you don't burn it off anymore, it doesn't just fall off. You have to put effort into it to make it go away or to make it stop. And if you don't, it'll just keep going. So we have to do something about it. That's right, we have to do something about it consistently. Because if you don't, you will consistently gain more and more pounds. And your health will be impacted. If this makes you feel any better, you can lean against the wall like this. And do it like that. Just get it done. Doesn't matter how you do it. Just get it done. If you're not sure about how to use the equipment, log on to YouTube. There's a ton of videos on YouTube for you to watch. Just as you're watching me now doing all the demos, using all the different equipment, there are over 100 videos on YouTube. I know that's a lot, but there's a lot of different exercise moves that you can do that we can't put all into one program. Trust me, it's that many. But you want to be able to utilize and do as much as you can. And I understand that. So, don't take any shortcuts trying to achieve your goal. You can achieve your goal without taking any shortcuts. That's right. And that's what you want to do. Achieve your goal without taking any shortcuts. Because shortcuts could impact your health. And could also be detrimental. So whatever you do, make sure you make the right decisions. Because sometimes even under what the doctor suggests, and not all will suggest or put you in harm's way. But remember, they're in a profession to make money just like everybody else. doing something like that because you don't know what kind of health impact it's going to have and if you're anything like most of us you'd be afraid to do the wrong thing all these surgeries are very costly and you don't know, you don't know if you're gonna survive this stuff. 
Just be careful out there. So, this is another setup where we do not have the wall board, but it's attached to the wall, as you can see, but you want to make sure that it's attached in a safety mannerism, meaning you want to make sure that you're either on a stud or you have a wall anchor that is adequate enough to hold an awful lot of pressure. Make sure you keep that in mind. How you like all these effective gym exercises that you can have set up in your own home? That's right. You could be doing all of this that I'm doing and it won't cost you a fortune. This is not, just imagine, you could work out in the comforts of your own home. You won't be distracted by strangers. You won't be exposed to any germs that you don't want, be it even for a common cold. But these days, you've got more serious stuff out there. So you don't want to be out there if you don't have to. That's why I highly recommend your own gym. Set up your own gym, then you know exactly what you're doing at home. You know who's there. You're taking much, much less risk working out in your own home. I've had a gym membership before. I know what it's like. It's all kinds of distractions going on in the gym. If that's what you like, be my guest.
Besides that, these days, with this COVID-19, and then you got these different variances, you don't know what the heck they can do to you. You don't want to end up in the hospital on a respirator. That's what I'm talking about. If you can avoid that, that's the goal. I urge you to get vaccinated. I know a lot of you don't want to, but you're taking risks. So make sure that you're well protected, especially if you're not taking that shot. Because that Delta thing is looking for you and you don't want it to get you. It's out there. Yes. Now, using the floor mount, once again, you know, it adds a lot more versatility, a lot more opportunities, and you have some restrictions. The restriction is you can't go anywhere else. That's why you have all your portable setups so that you can take them anywhere. So this way, if you have your own little gym in your home, you can work out in any room that you would like. That's right. Just by taking a piece of equipment just to a different room, even if you have a designated room. But you can do sit-ups, you can do push-ups, you can do stretches, you can do pulls, you can do squats, you can do all of that anywhere. That's right, anywhere. And here's another squat set up. Now this one has a little bit more tension. So, we'll go into the full spot in order to remove it. Then we're going to move on to our next exercise. Yeah, this is the one. If you saw me doing this yesterday, this is the one that you're waiting to see again today, I know. That's right, so let's get back to it. That's our track. And we made a little bench. A little bench that we can actually utilize to do or to con conduct this type of exercise. So what are we doing here? Let me see, let me, let me have a seat. And we're gonna pick 
ended up our deluxe round last bar. And we're going to grab the extreme. The extreme tubular bands. In this extreme setup, we are only two bands here, but the two bands are folded or looped. They're folded in this case, they're not looped. They're folded and that means one band turns into two. But in this case, we have four strands. So it's four times the resistance. That means they are stacked on both sides. So the two resistance bands on each side has turned into four on each side, giving you an extreme amount of resistance. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves in a fixed position where we're laying down and we're going to hold the resistance band bar as high as we can as we go back and forth. You can see I quickly had to make an adjustment. I could not hold it up here because it was too much resistance. However, we are okay. We probably need a strap, uh, a, a, a strap over our shoulders to hold it, and then we might really be able to go to work. Maybe I'll have to try that. I don't know how I'll be able to do that, but I'll have to try. Yesterday, we also used a utility strap where we put it around our waist. It's just a regular belt with carabiners, and we connected those carabiners to our resistance bands, and we went to work. Now, you can do this with tubular or flat resistance bands. It doesn't matter. to say the best for last. This is probably the best exercise for your legs. And also, it takes its toll on your forearm. As you can see, my forearms are all tightened up as a result of this. My shoulders also feel the brunt of this, and it feels really good.
So there we go. Well, I'm going to leave it here because, because let's go back and do some more um, sit-ups and crunches before we call it a day. And then maybe we can do some more legs before our time is completely gone, used up. Six minutes. We got time to get in a whole series of punches. So that's what we'll do. That's one step down. Let's see if we can get a couple more in there. Yeah, we're doing good. I know I got a little carried away there. I was getting into it. And that's what you should do. Hey, when you're doing these exercises, take it seriously. You know? Do what you have to do to get your exercise on. Because exercise is very serious. The results that you're looking for sometimes can be life or death. That's right. So I really haven't gotten a chance to use the, uh, the elevators mainly because the elevators are for push-ups and right now I have to take a break on push-ups. I can only do a few of them. But my arm is very, very sore. So I'm not doing them. So we'll wait until our heels up and then we'll get back to doing them. 
But in the meantime, I'm loving this. Let's get in the right position. track. Let's get back on my track. And there you have it. Today's workout has now come to an end. As you can see, you can turn your home into a gym, or not just your home, just one room. And it doesn't have to be permanent. You can do it as a temporary room just using portable equipment. Or you can put some wall mounts in a strategic place so they're not interfering with anything and that becomes your workout station. You don't need a lot of room. Your wall mounts are 32 inches long. That's all you need, 32 inches. The floor mats, they're two feet by six feet. That's the type of space that we're talking about you need. That's not a lot. Your bench, your bench is a little bit longer. It's probably about 40 inches long. But your bench, you can buy a bench that actually folds or you can stand the bench up and place it into a closet. Like I said, it's all about what you need and the expenses aren't that much. You don't have to save up for it. It's just like anything else that you go on Amazon and buy. Just go buy it and pay for it afterwards. So we are on my website. My website is www.lw500products.net. We are on Sam's Court. We are on Walmart. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. All the good things that you want to see. That's where we are. So come on, let's get with it. I'd like to see you participating with me so that your health is improved. So I hope I've been part of an influence in order to get you off the couch. Because you take a look at me, I'm no spring chicken. 
I'll never be again. But I'm going to do the best I can possibly do to maintain the only thing that I actually own. And that's me. Because everything else that I have surrounding me, I don't own it. It stays. I go. Never forget that. So take better care of your health. So you can utilize those different things that you have around you that are temporary. Have a nice day. I love you all.